What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. Going to teach you kind of a more easy acoustic tune right now. Uh, I do have a chord and scale book and a bunch of free lessons that are not on YouTube. All you got to do is click my request list below this box here, and I'll hook you up, all right? But real quick, right before I teach this song, I just want to say um, that this band and this guy, John Popper, was kind of like my initial catalyst to pick up an instrument all the way back in like 1993. And I actually just got to meet him and like sit down and tell him that he uh, inspired me to become a musician. And it was a real honor for me to do that. So I thought I'd try and pay him back for all his inspiration to me just by having you guys maybe check out his new solo project that he's doing with a buddy of mine, John O'Manson, who you may have seen in Guitar Jams. He did the Red Wine in the Afternoon song. Anyway, Jono and John Popper have this new album out. They're touring right now to support it. I'm going to leave a link for their Facebook page, John Popper and the Dusk Gray Troubadours. You guys should check it out. It's awesome. All right, here we go. All right, so the first chord that we want to learn is called a G major. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our middle finger, we're going to put on the third fret of the low E here. And then we're going to take our index finger and put it on the second fret of the A string. And then open. And then we've got third fret on the B. And then we've also got third fret on the high E right here. So that's our first chord that we want to nail. Right, so we've got that chord. Then we need what's called a C major, and we're going to take our ring finger and put it on the third fret of the A, and then we're going to go second fret on the D, and then we're going to go open G, first fret on the B, so that's C major. The next chord we need is called A minor. We're going to take just our ring finger and tuck it, take it off and tuck it underneath onto the second fret of the G right here, and that's A minor. There's only one more chord, and that's the whole song. It's a D chord. Second, ring on the third of the B, and then second on the high E there. But what we do with the D chord is when we get to the D chord, no middle finger. The middle finger's off, and we're going to bring it down. So the chord forms without the middle finger. And that's a cool tip to know. Any of the open chords, you could take fingers off and put them back on. You get the idea. Okay, so we got G, C, A minor, D, D. But the most important thing, but the most important thing for this, or, or at least the most challenging thing, would be to nail the rhythm. And that's what we're gonna focus on right now. So we start with that G chord. And we're gonna go down up, and then another down. And followed by that third, so we got down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. And then we're just doing a da 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 right before it starts over. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up.
right, that was the lesson. I hope you had fun. Uh, I would appreciate you guys just saying hi to, to Popper and the Dusk Gray Troubadours down there and one of my old teachers, Jono. But otherwise, we'll see you in another lesson real soon, I promise. All right, see you later.